the day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Thursday, April 27, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money, and if you are interested in props and parlay picks, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link to our Patreon and to our new channel in the description and comments section below. Tampa Bay Lightning vs Toronto Maple Leafs. It looked like the Maple Leafs were going to lose Game 4 and head back to Toronto, with the series tied 2-2. Toronto was down 4-1 in Game 4 after two periods. However, the Maple Leafs scored three unanswered goals in the third period in Game 4 to send the game to overtime. Alexander Kerfoot would score the overtime winner for Toronto, and the Maple Leafs completed the huge comeback to take a 3-1 series lead. The Leafs had a very good offense this season. They ranked 9th in goals per game and 12th in shots per game. Mitch Marner led the team with 99 points. He ranked tied for 4th in assists in the league. Austin Matthews and William Nylander each led the team with 40 goals. Nylander had 87 points, and Matthews had 85 points. John Tavares had 80 points. Toronto scored 3 goals in a Game 1 loss. Their offense took over in Game 2 and scored 7 goals to even up the playoff series. The offense was excellent in Games 3 and 4. They scored 4 goals in Game 3 and 5 goals in Game 4. The offense has been the main reason the Maple Leafs leading the playoff series 3-1. The Toronto Maple Leafs won games 3 and 4 in overtime in Tampa Bay and now have a 3-1 lead in the playoff series. Game 4 was a great game with the Maple Leafs coming back from being down 3 goals in the third period to win the game in overtime. Andre Vasilevsky has not been sharp in this series. In a Game 1 victory, Vasilevsky allowed 3 goals on 31 shots faced. In a Game 2 loss, he allowed a whopping 7 goals on 37 shots faced. Vasilevsky was not sharp at home in games 3 and 4, allowing 4 goals on 27 shots faced in game 3, and allowing 5 goals on 37 shots faced in game 4. Toronto's offense has gotten the best of Vasilevsky in this series. Now with the series heading back to Toronto for game 5, the Maple Leafs have all the momentum after completing a huge comeback in game 4. Giving up a 3-goal lead in the third period in game 4 will be too much for the Lightning to overcome. Toronto will win Game 5, and for the first time since 2004, they will finally win a playoff series and eliminate the Lightning in 5 games. Take Toronto on the money line. This series has been a very high-scoring series. Each of the 4 games so far in this series has gone over. Toronto's offense scored 3 or more goals in each game this series. They scored 7 goals in Game 2, 4 in Game 3, and 5 in Game 4. Tampa Bay scored 3 or more goals in 3 of the 4 games in this series. Both teams have struggled to keep the puck out of the net. The over is 4-0 in this playoff series, and the over has hit in 8 of the last 10 meetings between these two teams. Game 5 will be no different. This will be another high-scoring contest between the two teams, and the over will hit in Game 5. Take the over, 6.5 goals. Rangers vs New Jersey Devils. New York's played well on both ends of the ice. They've scored an average of 3.33 goals per game, the 12th most in the NHL, on an average of 31.5 shots per game. They've generated the 12th fewest expected goals, 3.09 per game, and the 4th fewest high danger shots in the league. The Rangers have the 7th best power play in the NHL, scoring on 24.1% of their opportunities. Artemi Panarin, 92 points, 63 assists, and Mika Zibanejad, 39 goals, lead them in scoring this season. The Rags made two huge moves before the trade deadline, acquiring Patrick Kane from the Blackhawks and Vladimir Tarasenko from the Blues to bolster their offense even further with two guys that have won the cup. The Rangers have been very good defensively, allowing the fourth fewest goals in the NHL, an average of 2.63 goals per game, on an average of 29.3 shots allowed per game. They've given up the 12th fewest expected goals, 2.97 per game, and the 16th fewest high danger shots. New York has killed off 81.2% of their penalties. Last year's Vizina winner Igor Shesterkin, coming off his shutout on Saturday, is projected to start in goal tonight. After the first two games of this series, it looked like New Jersey was dead, but they've come back to tie this series with two huge wins on the road, and the momentum of this series has shifted in the Devils' favor, tied 2-2 going back to Jersey tonight for Game 5. During the regular season, the Devils won three of the four games between these divisional rivals. 
I give them a pretty big edge offensively and expect them to win the series and advance. New Jersey has been fantastic offensively, scoring the fourth most goals in the NHL, having generated the third most expected goals and the sixth most high danger shots in the league. The Rangers have scored the 12th most goals in the NHL, but they've only generated the 12th fewest expected goals and the fourth fewest high danger shots in the league. Take the Devils to take their first lead of the series at home tonight in Game 5. This series has trended under, going 2-1-1 through the first two games of the series. Despite three of the four regular season games between these teams hitting the over, the playoffs are usually dictated by defensive-minded games, and both of these teams have been fantastic defensively, leading me to really like the under in this game. The Devils have allowed just the eight fewest goals in the NHL, having given up the third fewest expected goals and the third fewest high danger shots in the league. I expect them to play much better than they did in Game 1. The Rangers, backstopped by last year's Vizina winner Igor Shesterkin, have been fantastic on the back end as well. He was fantastic in Game 1, without allowing a goal besides Jack Hughes' penalty shot. Defensively New York was fantastic in limiting the scoring opportunities for the Devils. They've allowed the fourth fewest goals in the NHL, having given up the 12th fewest expected goals and the 16th fewest high danger shots in the league. Take the under in Game 5 tonight. Winnipeg Jets vs Vegas Golden Knights The Winnipeg Jets were red-hot heading into the 2023 Stanley Cup playoffs, as they fought for their lives to make it into the number 8 seed, and now, they'll need to find that spark once more, as they are a poor 60-minute performance away from being eliminated once more. In their past eight games against the Pacific however, the Jets have managed just a 2-6 record, as well as being 1-4 in their past five games against teams with a winning record, and with injuries occurring all series long, it's going to be the toughest possible environment for them in Game 5. The Vegas Golden Knights have been one of the best teams in the NHL all season long, and after a shocking loss in Game 1 of the series, they've been downright dominant, and after scoring 14 goals in their past three games, they have all the momentum behind them as they look to close out the series. In their past 26 overall games, the Golden Knights have come away with a 19-7 record, as well as being 16-5 in their past 21 games played against teams with a winning record, and with a matchup against Edmonton or La Looming, they'll want to put this one away as quick as possible. After the past three fantastic performances in this series, it's no surprise that the Vegas Golden Knights have a big edge in this head-to-head -head rivalry, and with home ice advantage in the most important game of the series, it's tough to see another big Jets upset. In the past seven head-to-head -head meetings between these two teams, the Golden Knights have come away with an almost perfect 6-1 record, and with the advantage all over the ice, it appears that the fairy tale could be over for the Winnipeg Jets. Our team pick is Vegas minus 1.5, runs.The Golden Knights followed Michael Amadio's double overtime heroics, with a 4-2 game 4 win, controlling almost 54% of expected goals at 5-on-5. Five five. Chandler Stevenson leads five players averaging at least one point per game for Vegas. Meanwhile, the Golden Knights have no new injuries, and William Carrier, a depth forward who has been out since early March, skated in a regular jersey at practice on Wednesday, indicating a potential return. The same 12 forwards and 6 defensemen have been used in all 4 games, and Laurent Brassoit has played every minute in net. The Golden Knights have been in excellent form, with every player making a positive impact on the ice. A key strength has been their ability to block shooting lanes, averaging 20.5 blocks per game in the series. By preventing the puck from reaching the net, they have made it difficult for the Jets to score. Maintaining this defensive prowess will be crucial for Las Vegas in order to prevent the Jets from gaining momentum and making a comeback in the series. For Winnipeg, the over is 4-0 to 1 in their past five games played against teams with a winning record, and for the Golden Knights, the over sits at 8-2 in their past 10 home games, so expect more of the same in this critical game 5. 